Hello! Today we start a smaller project from U Gears, the pneumatic engine. This kit has two wood sheets and will be completed in just one video. First, build the platform for the engine. Insert small tabs in the first and last of three long pieces. The piece with the arch is at the back. Add two U-shaped pieces to one end of the middle long piece. Use a cross piece to align the long pieces. The middle piece is closer to the front. Then add the other two cross pieces to complete the frame. Next, add two pieces to close most of the bottom. Then, add tabs onto two rectangular pieces. Put them on top of the frame. Add two end pieces to finish the platform. The top pieces can slide open and close, perhaps to store balloons. Next, start the engine assembly with three engine slices. Use two half toothpicks in the top holes to align the sections. Trim them. Then insert seven full toothpicks into the other seven holes. Don't trim these yet. three more slices to one side of the assembly. Be careful not to poke yourself. Next, create the action arms. You need a measurement piece to align the discs. First, put two discs on a toothpick and fit them in measured slots with the toothpick ends at the edge of the measuring piece. Make sure the discs are sanded and waxed. Cut one end of the toothpick to align with the measured indentation. Lake and Eighth arrives for some attention. The second action arm uses two small discs together that fit into another measured slot with the toothpick aligned with the edge. Again, trim one end to the indentation. Insert the clipped end of the second action arm into the bottom hole. Make sure it slides smoothly. Add two more engine slices to one side of the engine to seal in the action arm. Use two U-shaped pieces to squeeze the three main engine slices tight. Clip all the toothpicks except the ends of the motion arm. That would be bad. Insert the other motion arm into the top hole. Make sure it slides in the hole smoothly. Set the engine aside. Next, assemble pieces of the transfer assembly. Start by adding two tabs to the end of a rectangular piece. Cut a toothpick in half and add a small disc. 
Insert into the top hole of a Y-shaped piece. Add the rectangular piece and another disc on the other side. Make sure the rectangular piece can rotate easily. Trim the toothpick. Add another toothpick at the junction of the Y piece. Use the helper tool to make sure it is exactly the right length. Add several discs and a pointer onto the toothpick. Next, add the engine and transfer assembly to the base. The engine goes on a raised section of the middle long piece. Set it as close to the center as possible. Lake and Ape is back! And gone again. Now add the transfer assembly, placing the toothpick ends in the holes near the center of the base. The gauge is next to the arch. Connect the end of the rectangular piece to the top motion arm. The instructions suggest adding toothpicks to the arch to mark minimum and maximum points for the gauge. Ed put these in, but they aren't strictly necessary. Next, add two tabs to another rectangular piece. Add a disc to a half toothpick then add a longer piece, the rectangular piece, and another small disc. Finally, trim the toothpick. Lake and Knife stops by to help assemble the wheels. Start by inserting two notched pieces into a slot in the larger wheel. Then add two more notched pieces perpendicular to the slot and upside down. Add the smaller wheel on top of the notched pieces until they all fit together. The fit will be loose. Insert a toothpick into the center of the larger wheel and push it through by a measured amount. This will probably require shifting the pieces around a bit to give the toothpick enough room to get through the wheel. Cut off the end of the toothpick from the large wheel. Repeat. The only difference is that the smaller wheel has pieces sticking out from the center. Center a toothpick on the measurement tool and trim the ends based on markings on the tool. This toothpick will be the main axle connecting the two wheels. Sand the ends to allow them to fit in the off-center holes in the wheels. Put the toothpick through the end of the long piece from the previous assembly and then insert the ends into holes in the two wheels. Now it's time to add the wheels to the rest of the engine. Take the assembly and point the long piece toward the engine. Insert the ends of the toothpicks in the holes on the end opposite the engine. While doing this, force the axle into the slot in the transfer assembly. Finally, take the end of the long piece and connect to the bottom action arm. The engine is now assembled. Turn the wheels slowly to make sure that everything turns smoothly. If not, adjust pieces until the engine turns. Finally, add three rings to the intake of the engine. Insert four half toothpicks into one larger ring. Then add the smaller ring, and finally another larger ring. Insert these into the intake of the engine. That's as far as Ed got. The engine is supposed to run on air from a balloon, but the assembly still has too many leaks to work yet. Perhaps later, Ed will post a video of the balloon-powered engine. For now, He's happy just to spin the wheel and watch everything move. Bye for now.